Hi, good morning. This is Eric in Trinidad, Colorado. This is the next morning for my coffee. It's uh, approximately 77, 78 degrees in my room. And <clears throat> six degrees outside, Trinidad, Colorado. Here's our coffee. Some activation going on. Maybe it's not enough. I feel like I could put some more yeast in there. If I don't see any activity this afternoon, I'm definitely going to do that. But it looks good. It smells good. There's something happening. I still want to add another teaspoon of yeast. That's going to happen right now. Be back in just a moment. Okay, so moments ago, I didn't hit the record button. My mistake. I made some more nutritional yeast, dumped it in, and stirred it around. We'll see how that goes. It's not new, nutritional yeast. It's regular yeast from the kettle. Put our lid on, nice and snug. Check it again tonight. Thank you. Hi, good morning. This is uh, day five of our coffee being in its first brew bucket. This morning, we're going to open her up, get her all mixed up. Look at that. Yeast is going wild. Break that up. Keep it going. I may have put way too much yeast in there for that. Wonderful. Today I'm going to put it into a carbiner with a bubbler. Strain it through, nice piece of cloth. We'll take it from there. Thank you. Hi, okay, so this is my coffee. Here it burp. <laughs> Experiment. Day five. It's Tuesday. I'm going to uh, strain it off. Here's what she looks like. Lots of yeast. Let's break that up. Get everything activated. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to strain it from here with my uh, newest pump and I'm going to strain it into a pitcher which will then go into uh, through the screen and the material and then we'll go into two uh, one gallon jugs and I'm going to uh, fill them up the rest of the way with water and it'll be a nice wine to allow that to pump 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 it up so now I've got the hose. I'm gonna put it on the end. There we go. Now we're gonna put it 
are in here. Put that right there. Let's hold on to that for a moment. We'll get her in here. Let's see, let's see. Oh, yes. This will do it. I'll do it like so. Just hold that. There we go. Just a few drops. It's okay. I'll just do this. It's only about a gallon. Maybe a little bit more. Tip our bucket. Do some, and we're gonna pinch it off. How to drain off the sediment? Okay, we'll stop that now for the moment. that like that and then we're just going to let that siphon down a little bit it'll be fine I think you can hear that I'll get back to you in just a moment or two once we're a little bit farther along Thank you. We were Hi. Up on top oh, of the hold on. For 13 nights. So, I've got this hydrometer, and this is our coffee. I've got it. It's set to uh, 40, and the potential alcohol it looks about between 15 and 20 percent, maybe 18 percent. In that space, the potential alcohol space, and then this other one, which I'm not sure what it's for, is at approximately 33. 33. So that's at our first rack five days after. Again, we're straining. I'm not even halfway through the straining. And, oh, I'm going to try to coax this through a little bit. Probably the cloth. Yeah, just hanging it up. A little sediment. Still coffee, there's grapes. There's yeast. We'll just keep going with this. Just keep at it. It's a nice slow process. It's been a good five or more minutes since the last time. And it comes up nicely like this. I can still see a nice batch at the bottom of the bucket. Again, 
again, we don't want to overfill what we've got. As I bring it up, just above the level of the liquid, everything here is just fine. Get back to that. Another few moments. Okay, so got a nice clean spoon, get a good taste of her. Hmm. It's interesting. Hmm. I can see where that's going. Alright. I can taste the orange and the citrus, the lemon, and the coffee. Hmm. When that mellows out, it'll be really good. Okay, so I got all my coffee into one jug. Bless you. And I got our bubbler on top. It's got a little vodka in there. And the foam is building. The yeast is still doing what it's doing. And then shortly, once it gets to a point, it'll start bubbling the chamber. Hopefully it doesn't overflow into the chamber. We'll monitor that. And the uh, liquid in my bubbler is a regular drinking alcohol. It's a cheap vodka, but it's better than any chemical solution or anything like that, just in case there's any kind of a backdraft at all. There's no chance of anything other than a drinkable alcohol winding up in the mix of our coffee. Thanks. I hope you can see the fermentation, the bubbles coming up. Beautiful head on that. Carboy working wonderfully. Keep you updated on how this is going. Thank you. And enjoy. Please like and subscribe. And don't forget to share. Thanks. Have a great night and day and life. Alright, so now here's my coffee. It's at about 72 degrees in here. Got a nice foam on top. It's bubbling steadily. Foam is not too high, not too low. It's at a real good location. And this is uh, just an hour or two after I put it into the carboy. All right, thank you, enjoy. Get back to you with any updates and uh, into the final stages. Appreciate you. Enjoy. Please like and subscribe and share. Here's some of the must or mash or whatever you want to call it bananas and grapes and coffee and apple stuff. Yeah, it's going to go into a compost pile to the neighbor out back who has a nice little garden. Help that out.